Hello, welcome back. Perseverance Yoga. It's time to warm up that core. Get some uh, going in that belly. In yoga, we call it tapas. It means heat, passion, zest for life. So when we stoke that inner fire, you start to heat up. Get some passion going, you hear me? Also known as endorphins. Feeling of accomplishment. Grab yourself a blanket, two blocks, if you got them, if you don't have blocks, maybe you use a sturdy book, maybe a toilet paper roll. I don't know, get creative, yeah? And you don't need the blocks, they're just there for extra support to bring the ground a little closer to you. We're gonna get started. Pull up your playlist. Three, two, one. Child's pose, please. Knees wide. Toes kiss, sit back on your heels, walk yourself out into a long spine. Child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the ground. Just check in with your breath. If your neck is feeling stiff, you can massage your forehead, your brown bone, brow bone. And that can soften your neck a little bit as well as get any tension out of the forehead. <sighs> Grip the ground with your fingertips. Feel your connection to the floor. Your connection to gravity. Your connection to your breath, your heartbeat. Taking a moment of gratitude for these special forces that we work with every day. Our breath, the sensation of gravity, the ground that supports us. It's what makes us what we are. It's what curates this experience we have, life. <laughs> Good, now start to come up into tabletop pose. Engage the core right away. So what I want you to feel is a navel pulling up towards your spine sensation. Typically we sort of live with our belly hanging out a little bit and that's totally okay, it's totally comfortable. But right now in order to engage the core, I want you to pull your navel up towards your spine. Almost like you're hollowing out your belly and then push your heart through the back of your shirt. Tuck your toes, tilt your pelvis forward, almost like you're dumping your belly down, opposite of what I just had you do. Inhale, bring your heart forward and through your arms, bend at the elbows, cow pose. Exhale, push the floor away. Now we exaggerate what I had you do, so pull your navel all the way up to the sky. Come up onto the fingertips, round through the upper back, exhale everything. Good, now start to find this in your own body. This is a great way to assess what's going on in your vessel. I am feeling soreness in my shoulders and my upper back. Maybe you have something going on in your hips, your neck, ankles even. Just check in, check in with what's going on. And instead of judging yourself for this sensation, can you acknowledge it and infiltrate it into your practice today, into what you need, into how you take care of yourself? All right, so now I'm just finding some movements that feel right for me. Organic, sort of primitive movement. My breath will lead it. Yeah, don't be shy, get in there. Nice, now tuck your toes, spread your fingers, lift the knees, hover. We've got four breaths here. Notice if you're dumping in the low back, can you pull that navel up into the spine for three, two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Separate your feet wide, wider than your hips. Walk your hands back about a foot. Left hand comes center, right hand catches your left ankle. Good, just take a couple breaths here, maybe let the neck go, notice where your attention is. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees, babe.
strong straight left arm, <sighs> peeking through that armpit. <laughs> Give it a little sniff. How are we doing? I'm good so far. <laughs> I'll check back in at the end. It won't be so good. Switch. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this mic so I can tell you secrets in the mic. It's very exciting for me. <laughs> All right, two more breaths. It's a pulling sensation, but we're not totally muscling our way through. We keep it soft. Knees are soft. Right arm is straight. Getting into the spine with the twist. Good. Come back to center. Walk it out. Plank pose. All right. So this is core. Yeah. So we have to start tapping into that. Opposite fingers opposite shoulder. Now I exaggerated, I moved and went to one side to sort of show you what we were doing. Can you keep it still? Hips still, shoulders still. It's so freaking hard, but do your best. <sighs> Lengthen your neck, crown of the head reaches forward. You've just got a few more. We're just warming up here. Don't get scared. Don't run away. Downward facing dog. Good, now take your hips side to side. We walk your hands back to your feet. Turn your toes out, heels down, drop your booty. Malasana squat. Now you might not be as low, that's totally okay. You might be up here. Wherever you are, we're aiming to release some of that tension that is in the outer hip. So if you need, you need to squeeze to lift up and out of it. And we're also helping to elongate the spine here. So length from the crown of the head towards the sky. And then opening the hips, we push inside of the thighs. Give it a little go. Helps us activate our deeper core when our hips are open. <sighs> Two more breaths, stay with it. Nice. Now we turn the toes forward, hands come down, forward fold. Good. Walk the feet in just a little bit closer, soft knees. Let's roll up through your spine, all the way to standing. Belly is still hollow. Reach the arms up to the sky. Let's take a side body stretch on over to the right. Catch that left wrist. Send your hips to the left for two. And exhale, come back to center. Switch it out. Good. Two. Lift your heart. And back to center. Open up the arms, cactus the elbows. Shift your forearms behind your ears and look up at the sky. We're trying to lift through the upper spine here. Almost like the space between your shoulder blades could come through your heart. Beautiful, reach up, hands come through prayer. Exhale, walk it back out. Plank pose. We go 10, nine, eight, seven. Opposite shoulder, opposite hand. Four, three, two, one. Maybe a push up. Walk it back to forward fold. Roll up through the spine, articulate the rounding of the spine. That's part of your core engagement. Inhale, reach up. Side stretch to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, cactus. Puff the chest up to the sky, ribs down slightly. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, bend the knees, come into chair pose, adding on here. Take your hands to prayer. Put the weight into the right foot, knee stays soft and bent. Tap the left toes back. Yeah, we're dancing off the mat today, that's okay color it outside the lines. You can keep your hands at prayer. You can take your hands to your hips. Try to keep the chest supported. Lift and lower the back leg. Now your focus is so important here. Where your gaze goes, your energy flows. Tap and lift. Squeeze the booty at the top. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Exhale, knee into your chest. Send it back. Tap it back. Knee into your chest. Send it back. Now we're just getting into the booty a little bit here and your balance so that we can have ultimate core engagement. Cross the ankle over your right thigh. 
figure four legs. Hands to prayer, take a little seat. Woo! Nice deep hip stretch here. Try to keep the bottom knee over the second toe. Helps with stability. And we're not rounding through the spine. Lift through the heart. Keep the tail long from the skull. Lots of space here. One more breath. Good, stand up. Step the foot down, take your hip side to side. Amazing, let's switch sides. Come into your wide chair. Slide the right leg back, hands to hip or prayer. We start to lift and lower. You're barely touching the toes down, touching, touching the toes down. It's really about the engagement of the right booty as you lift the leg back up. And then this knee is tracking over the second toe. Keep your gaze forward. Four, three, two, one. Knee into chest, exhale, tap it back. Knee into chest, tap it back. Good. Go with your breath. Last one. Cross the ankle over, track the knee backwards. We start to sit into that engagement. Cool down the breathing. We're still just warming up. So this is part of our peak posture today. So we're gonna be doing this shape quite a bit. Do the best that you can. And just stay with your, your body. Yeah, don't, don't fly off the rails. Explore, dance on the edge, but don't jump off. We wanna prevent injury. Stand up, take the leg out. Little hip side to side. We're here for sustainability, longevity of your body. Not because we have a, a goal aesthetic in mind, right? We're not, we're not here because we hate our body. We're here because we love it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward folds. Walk yourself back out, plank pose. We go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, little push-up maybe. Woo, down dog. All right, let's flow a little bit. Right leg reaches high to the sky. Exhale, knee into your nose. Step the foot between your thumbs. Blocks can be an aid here as you lift the back leg. Warrior three, so either hands to hips or back leg lifted. We're gonna lift that leg a little more, sort of like what we did in the chair but graduating the shape here. Try to get it up. Bottom knee is bent. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knee into nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. Three, two, and one. Bring the knee up into your chest, stand up tall, roll out the ankle, point and flex. Beautiful, let's start to take the hands to prayer. Send that toe way to the back of the mat. Rise up, crescent lunge. Hands come behind your head, interlace. We tap the back knee down, twist to the right. Back to center, lift up. Tap, twist. Center, lift. Tap, twist. Right hip is tracking back. Left hip is tracking forward. Both booties are on fire. Trying to squeeze the tush. Last set right here. Come back to center. Strong straight legs start to hover and hinge over that front straight leg for two. Elbows lifted up to the sky. One, reach the arms out in front of you. As you bend into the front knee, we stand tall into the lunge, reach back. Exhale, straighten the front leg, reach forward. Bend, reach back. Forward and back. Frame the front foot with your hands. Take a vinyasa or down dog. Trying to smooth out the breathing as you move. Beautiful, let's go left leg. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knees in, knee into your nose. 
Step it forward, grab the blocks or hands to prayer or hips. We lift warrior three. All right, keep it lifted, pulse it to the sky. You wanna feel that engagement of the butt smile. Oh, there she came. There she is, big Miss Updog. Shake it out. Knee in towards your chest, send it back. Knee into the chest, send it back. This is why blocks are a great help. Otherwise, fingertips can be on the floor if you're starting to lose your balance with your hands on your hips or anything like that. Oh, yeah, super hard. Okay, start to send that leg all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Rise up, crescent lunge, reach up, find your balance. Hands come to your head, interlace, tap the knee down, twist to the left. Lift up, tap, twist. Last two. Focus on your breathing. Stand up, straighten both legs. Start to hinge forward over the front leg. Reach your arms forward, bend into the front knee, reach back. Exhale, straighten and reach. Bend and back. Good, for two. Starting to heat up here, feeling that engagement. Everything is reaching from center line, frame off the front foot, vinyasa. So when we reach our arms and our legs far away from your core, your core has to work extra hard to keep them controlled. That's why when you're even reaching for something like in your kitchen cabinet, that's your core. Don't forget it. All right, from downward facing dog, look forward at your hands, bend into your knees. We're gonna get a little bounce going. Now you can either keep the bounce or you can start to find little hops. Little hops, froggy hops. Strong straight arms trying to get the booty over the head. Just warming. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect. We're just playing and step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, chair pose. Pulse, pulse. Keep reaching. Stay with your breath. Maybe the hips go side to side. Get into the outer booty and a little bit into the side obliques. Two. And one lower all the way down to Vasana Boat Pose. Good, flex the toes towards your face. Knees in towards your chest, lift the crown of the head to the sky. Just get used to this engagement for a second. Good, lower down, low boat. Send the toes forward. Keep the chin in towards your chest so that you're not straining your neck. Pump the hands. Keep it going. Active feet. You're halfway through. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees into your chest. Lower head, neck, and shoulders. Start to take your hips in a big circle. You can alternate the hips. Nice, now let's find that figure four on our back. Right ankle over left thigh. We're not gonna pull, cause we'll save that for later. But I want you to think about tracking your left knee in. You'll start to feel it in your outer right hip. So the more I flex into my left foot and I bring that left knee in towards my chest, I'll feel that in my outer right hip. You can flex your feet, relax your shoulders and your jaw. Nice, now let's switch mid-air, opposite ankle, opposite thigh. What this does is it keeps the stretch active. So we're not moving in towards passive stretching. We're still engaging the muscles. Engaging the core. 
the belly muscles as well. All right, good. Unwind, unwind the legs. Take the toes up to the sky. Take your hands below your skull. Start to lengthen the legs halfway. We switch. Switch kick. Now you can start to lift and lower or you can stay midway. So you're either here switching or you're working with levels. Moving up and down. Time to turn on those low abs. Woo! That low belly. Stay with it. Let's get all the way up to the top. Keep going. Get as high as you can with those legs if you're switching. And then as low as you can. Last set. Low back is still on the mat. If it's starting to pop up, we're losing the core engagement. It's dumping into your low back and that's where pain can start to build. Knees in towards your chest. So we always smush the low back down. Think about rounding through the low back a little bit. Very good. Now send the legs out like a V. Flex through the feet. Interlace the fingers, Charlie's Angel Mudra. Rock up through center, pulse, pulse. So we just did your low core. Now we're working with upper core. Those were lower crunches. These are upper crunches. I love mouth breath. Mouth exhales for core work because it's so freaking hard and it's right there with your lungs that it helps to supercharge your work by breathing with some forceful exhales out of the mouth. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Notice this isn't in my neck. My chin is all the way in towards my chest. I've got probably got like six chins here and that's what we want so that we protect the neck. This is all in the upper abs. Three, two, and one, we hover, lift forward, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hello belly, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring the knees in towards your chest, rock and roll, massage out the spine, all right, getting warmer as we speak, ready to flow a little bit more, come through plank pose, maybe vinyasa, maybe down dog, your choice. All right, let's go right leg to the sky. Bend your knee, open the hip. Take a big circle with that leg, tracing the knee in a giant full side circle here. Beautiful. Then bring that knee up and towards your tricep. Send it back up to the sky. Exhale, knee to the tricep, hold, hold. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, hug. Can you lift that knee a little higher? Just stay with it, stay with your breath. Good, send it back up to the sky. Foot between your thumbs. Nice work. Let's rise up, open up warrior two. Back heel spins down. Nice, reverse, inhale, opening side waist. Straighten through the front leg to get a deeper stretch. We come into triangle uh, crunches. So straight, straight legs. Bottom hand comes into the thigh. If you need a little support, you can bring a block here. Top arm reaches up. And then from there, we're lifting and lowering. Think about moving through a toaster. So you don't wanna to be too far forward or too far back. Otherwise you might get burned, right? Ouch! We don't wanna to be toasted. So you gotta reach up, straight up. Not leaning back or forward. Two, and one. Good, bend into the front knee, side angle pose. This time you can take a half bind. Take the back of the hand to your low booty, low hip. Roll the shoulder head back, look up for two. And for one, send that hand back to the sky and then forward, bicep to ear. Round it down to face the foot. Left hand comes inside, you're on the back toes. Right hand reaches to the sky, twist. Just breathe. All right, you might want to block for this one on your left hand. We're going to tap the back toe. So come forward, lift the back foot. Ooh, twist. Tap the back toe, send it long. Right knee is bent, tap and send it long. 
for four. My gaze is down, straight down, so that I can keep my balance. It's not at my toes, it's down and forward. For three, for two, and for one. Square it off, warrior three, just like we did before. Standing needle, get that leg as high as you can to the sky. Good, Shiva squats, bend both knees and squeeze. Exhale, take it to the sky. Now we're starting to really heat up, getting into some cardio, pumping the blood. It's important to keep going even when you feel like quitting. Even when you know, you're alone, you might be doing this class alone, and it's like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. No one's holding me accountable, I'm just gonna quit. Well, I'm here to tell you, you'll feel better if you achieve the whole thing. Reach up, crescent lunge. Tap the knee down, bend at the elbows. We go two, and one, vinyasa. Stick with it is what I'm trying to get at. Just stick with it. Left leg high to the sky. Bend through the knee, big circles here. Big circles. Two, one, round it forward, tricep, touch. Inhale, send it back up. Exhale, tricep, hold. Yes, good. Exhale, bring it forward, hold. Heel to booty, heel to booty. Nice job, inhale, take it high. Step it between your thumbs. Back heel spins down as we reach up, open up warrior two to the right. Reverse, inhale, reach, straighten the leg. Come through triangle pose. Strong straight legs. You can set up your form first with a block behind the calf. Reach the top arm high. And then we work with lifting and lowering. Stay with the breath. Moving through a toaster. Reaching up to the ceiling with that top finger. Good, last one, lift. Exhale, bend into the bottom leg. Come all the way through side angle. Maybe bind that top hand, back of the hand to the low booty, elbow and shoulder head are reaching back. Crown is lengthening forward, tail is lengthening back. Nice, unwind top hand, reach it up and over. Exhale, start to square down, come onto the back toes, left hand high to the sky, twist. Good work. How's that breath? A little deeper for me. Good, now remember, left hand, back foot. So block under the right hand. Step and lift the leg, bring it in, send it back. For four. Three, two, two, and one. Both hands to blocks or floor. Lift that back leg as high as you can, standing needle. All right, Shiva squats. Bring the knees together. Shoot that right leg straight up. Keep it going. Before we were working laterally, laterally, bringing the back leg in, and now we're working against gravity. So where we were working obliques, now we're working into the hips and into the deeper visceral core. For three, two, pump it, and one. Send that leg high to the sky. Nice job, send that leg all the way back and behind. Rise up, crescent lunge, just a little bit more here. Tap the knee down, reach it up. Tap it down, bend the elbows, reach it up. Last two, and one. Inhale, exhale, frame and flow. Good work, downward facing dog. Take the hip side to side. Come forward, plank. Come onto your forearms. Walk your toes forward, dolphin pose. Woo! All right. Now, I know you've done running mans before, but have you done them in dolphin? So shift your weight forward, bring your right knee in, and then your left. Yes, my booty's high. Trying to get a good start here. If you want to lower it down a bit, it'll make it a bit easier. 
four, three, two, one. Press back up onto your hands. Walk your hands back, forward fold. Give your head a little shake. Roll up through standing. Reach up, hands behind your head. It's coming to what we did before. Right knee bends, slide your left toes back, pulse, pulse. Now you're a pro at this, right? You got this, four, three, two, and one. Knee in towards your chest. Woo! I need to tell myself to focus on one spot instead of looking around the room so that my balance can be better. Last two. Last one, hug, cross it over, have a little seat. Now let's start playing with your peak pose. Now you can fold over this and see how that is. Sink the hips down, you'll start to feel that. Hands spread. Maybe you put the shin bone on the back of the triceps, play with rocking forward, and maybe you stay right here, trying to fold all the way. We're not totally there yet, but it's just a little pass through, little opportunity to check out what's going on. Good, now let's stand up, knee in towards your chest, step it down. Let's try it on the other side. Hands to hips, leg goes back, look forward. You can reach your arms up if you want extra work. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knee into your chest, send it back. Knee in and back. Four, three, two, and one. Knee in, good, cross it over, sink low. You can start to fold. You can stay in your chair, low booty. You can practice with hooking the foot around the arm, shin on the back of the triceps, as high up on the arms as you can get. Just play around with it. And if you're not, you're in fold. Good, now let's start to roll up. Step the foot down, hip side to side. We're gonna flow. Add in the peak pose and move from there, okay? Almost done. All right, good. Feet together, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, walk it out. From down or from plank, you can either do a vinyasa or go straight to down dog. We're gonna hop for a little stop through. Hop into a seat. Good. Navasana bull pose. Hands behind your skull. We take your right elbow to your left knee. Send your right leg long, come back to center. We're staying in Navasana. It's a high boat bicycle. Try to keep your heart lifted. And if this is too much, you can of course come down. You're either in high boat or you're down here for four, three, two, and one. Everybody come down here, meet down here. Right knee, left elbow. Lift and lengthen, left leg. Try to keep the bottom shoulder off the mat. Oh boy, three, two, and one switch. Bottom shoulder off the mat. Three, two, and one. Come back, knees into your chest. Find a little happy baby. Open the insides of the thighs, the hamstrings, low back and tail are down. Good, knees into your chest. Rock and roll. Find that plank pose, maybe a vinyasa. Maybe not and go to down dog. Right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, send it back up. Knee to nose, send it up. 
exhale, step it through, grab your blocks. We're coming into that first flow again. Lift the back leg, pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee into your chest, send it back. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up. Let's cross the ankle over the leg, the thigh. Let's sit into your pigeon chair. Maybe you practice for that arm balance. So I'm gonna face you. Otherwise, you're staying in your pigeon chair. This is activating your core. This is giving you a nice hip mobility work. We want the back of the arms to be right underneath the shin. So you grab the biceps and that's where we work from. That distance where you grab your biceps and release, that's your distance. Back of the arms into the uh, shin bone. Wrap the big toe around the arm as best as you can. Flex into the foot. Lift the back foot an inch. Maybe you float the back leg. Just try. Give it a little go. See if you fall on your face. You'll be good, don't worry. <laughs> and then maybe you can send that leg. If you look forward, you can send that leg all the way back. Good, let's come to stand back up. Send that knee all the way behind. Hands behind your skull. Tap, twist to the right. Three, two, and one. Adding on, left hand down. Right hand high, tap the back foot. We go four, three, two, and one. Vinyasa. <laughs> Doing your best. Inhale, smooth. Exhale. Good work. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Send it up, knee to nose. Last one. Step it between the hands. Blocks or floor, lift the back leg, warrior three. Tap, lift. You don't really even need to touch the floor because we're looking for that lift activation more so. Three, two, one. Knee in towards your chest. Kick it back, kick it back. Four, two, three, two. One, keep it in, start to stand up. Track your gaze, cross it over, figure four. You either stay here, you fold, or you practice your arm balance. Biceps distance, hands come down, shin into the upper arms, shift your weight forward, hug the elbows in, look forward, hug the elbows in, look forward, pick up the back foot for three, two, one, from here, you send the leg back. If you're still practicing your arm balance, give it one more go. Otherwise, you're coming into crescent lunge from wherever you are. Woo! Crescent lunge. <laughs> See how graceful it can be? Inhale, reach up, hands behind your head. Tap the knee, twist to the left. Two, slow down that breathing. Stay with it. And one, from here, right hand down, left hand high, twist, tap, and send. Back foot forward, top hand taps. And one, vinyasa. All right, walk your hands to the back of the mat. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity for an arm balance or to hold chair. This is good old fashioned crow. Toes together. Grab the biceps, come into your forward fold. You're either in chair, holding, maybe a little bounce, or you're working towards your crow. As wide as my shoulders are and my bicep grab is, that's where my hands come down. Good, spread through the fingers, grip through the finger pads, hug the elbows in towards each other, get the knees as high up on the arms as you can, maybe lift one toe, look forward, whoa. <laughs> Look forward, lift one toe, <laughs> and then the next. Hug everything in. It's hard when you're sweaty. And just give it a little try. 
Nice work. Everybody come up from your chair or your crow if you want to play around a little more. Pause the video and have some more fun. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk it out. One last vinyasa. Down dog. Hop to a seat. Last little boat right here. This one's my favorite core move. One of my favorite core moves. I call it falling through space. So you go left on the booty cheek, right on the booty cheek, and then we pretend like we're falling through space. And you're reaching up for a star. Oh look, there's Pluto. Maybe we can regain its confidence, its credibility. And then there's the sun. Whoa, it's gonna burn me crazy. Gotta get away from the sun. <laughs> we're like little flies flying to the light. If you were to just screen grab that and put that somewhere, people would be like, that's your yoga class? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go for five. Come on, stay with it. Four. Three. Get low, get low. Two. Left booty. Right booty. I have a squeaky floor and I'm doing it. And one. <sighs> Knees into your chest. Give your legs windshield wipers side to side. Alternating. Good. And then cross your right leg over your left and take a twist to the left. Scoot your hips to the right a bit. Tee out your arms and look to the right. Slow down the breathing. See if you can soften your jaw, your face, and your arms. Good, come back through center, and we switch it out. Hips to the left, twist to the right, gotta move my mic. And look to the left if you can. Just listen to your breath. No more chaos. No more exertion, no more tapas heat. Now we're learning how to cool and come down from this beautiful fiery energy we've created. We learn how to utilize it, make it sustainable, make it last. Work off of the energy of our burning coals. Unravel your legs, feet flat on the mat. Let's come up for a glute bridge. So squeeze the booty as you lift. Press the back of the arms into the mat. Yellow belly. Oh, thank you for sneezing right into my mouth. Squeeze hip points to the sky. Just hold and breathe. This is a really good one for low back pain. A lot of the times when you get back pain or um, what is called sciatica, where you get like that pinching nerve that goes down the back of the leg, it actually requires us to build the strength in that area because it sometimes comes from sitting, a lot of sitting. Um, and the tendency is to do like pigeon pose and that's a very helpful, but we actually wanna strengthen that area mindfully and over time. Lower the spine down. Good, bring the knees together. Just give the thigh bones a little press. Excellent, hug your knees into your chest. Let one leg go long, followed by the next. Open up your arms and enjoy some rest for the next couple minutes.
Let's start to take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. And let your head go side to side. And brush your thumbs over your fingertips. Reach your arms up and overhead. Big stretch, point through your toes. And hug your knees into your chest. Come over to your right side. Pass through fetal pose on your solar side, your side where your energy and your will balances out on. And come all the way up to a seat. Bring your hands to prayer. And make a little promise to yourself to take a moment of gratitude today, whether it's now or again later on, for carving out the space to focus on you, to strengthen your mind, to strengthen your body, and to unlock that beautiful passion, the tapas that's within. Thumbs to forehead, third eye, trust in your intuition, and namaste. I love you. Bye.